So today we're going to talk about why is TMS therapy controversial? With me today, I have Dr. Kevin Murphy. Doc, can you tell us a little bit about who you are? Thanks, Kyle. Uh, yes, um, I'm an oncologist by training, uh, specializing in pediatric and adult brain tumors with a process called radiosurgery. And I, the last 10 years, I've spent time working on a personalized approach to transcranial magnetic stimulation. Doctor, why do you think TMS is controversial? Well, the origination of TMS was in many ways as a replacement for electroshock therapy. Mm -hmm. And the machines were made for patients that were refractory to or weren't responding to convulsive therapy or shock therapy, which scares people. Uh, it, although it's a therapy that, that works, has been around for a long time, no one likes to think about getting their brain shocked. When you say the shock therapy, we're talking about... Exactly. Well, they place electrodes really and paddles over the cranium and they would really shock patients yeah, like, yeah. like mild electrocution. Okay. Um, that's not what we're doing with TMS. The okay. TMS devices were meant to be a kinder, gentler way to give current to your brain. Uh, current placed on the, on the surface of the, of the skin or the scalp doesn't get into the brain. Magnetic fields do. So okay. you need very, very high current like shock therapy to get through the, the skull. It has a high impedance, but magnetic fields go right through the skull. And that's why magnetic field therapy, the TMS, has such a, a, a benefit to patients. They can hardly feel the, the, the therapy we give. Right. And it's less, um, uh, it's less, it's more comfortable, you could say, to have TMS versus, you know, of course, a shock therapy. Shock therapy. Yeah. But I think the, going back to your question, the reason why this was, um, it, it took time, I think, for lots of folks to accept TMS was that they were equating it towards a type of shock therapy. Right. And we really want to show them that there's nothing to do with shock therapy at this and point. How long ago did that change? Well, in personalizing TMS, we've, gotten, we've come a long way from standard TMS, where one location get, gets one frequency for the entire mm -hmm. period of six weeks. We would treat at four or five locations and personalize the frequency and adjust that dose based upon the response. And, and our patients and with PRTMS, we don't, they don't hardly feel the magnetic field at all. Right. Matter of fact, one of the arguments was, this can't be working. I can't feel it. Right. <laughs> we right. said, you don't have to feel magnetic fields. Um, that allowed us to treat kids and some pediatric mm -hmm. patients that wouldn't tolerate standard TMS. Hey, guys, if you found that video helpful, do me a favor. Click on this one right here. You'll really enjoy it. Did you click it? Click on it. You're going to love it.